Good morning, you beautiful, strong, resilient people of the Shield Wall Nation, and this is your daily report. And now we're going to start off with our coronavirus statistics as we usually do. Uh, with the global cases of 13,011,549, with 4,871,246 active cases. The global deaths are at 570,702, with global recoveries of 7,569,601. Now with the U.S. cases, there's 3,410,381, with 1,756,999 active cases. Uh, there, the deaths are 1,037,000, wow, sorry, 137,759 with 1,515,623. That is um, uh, what we're doing right now. Um, still, masks are mandated and extended to at least 24 states and recorded daily case numbers are being reached in more and more states. Uh, in Texas, several sheriffs and police departments have refused to enforce a statewide mask order. Denton, Denton County sheriffs remarked that the hypocrisy in asking police to enforce the order on citizens after massive rallies of people shouting F the police were not condemned by officials weeks earlier. So basically what they're saying is politicians the officials want police to do this but then they want to defund the police and it's okay with thousands of people not wearing masks it's, that's the hypocrisy thousands of people were not wearing masks is okay because they're saying at the police and they're going against you know going against the the government so to speak and while the police are like you know what f your hypocrisy uh we're not going to enforce that and go, good for them good for them that's a uh, that's one thing I love about Texas they don't bend over backwards for stupidity um, so yeah there's that uh, along with that uh, let's see the US ship uh, USS Bonham Richard caught fire in San Diego uh, 13 injuries and the explosion was reported and the uh, as far as the source of the fire is unknown because they have about 800 and something square feet of ship to go through um, there's a hundred and something I think 170 people on board at the time um, so luckily there you know unfortunately but luckily at the same time there was 11 people that were injured um, The group, let's see, the Department of Homeland Security, in fact, are deploying uh, tactical gear, uh, officers with tactical gear to uh, protect federal property and monuments amid, amidst the continuing vandalism and civil unrest. So basically, men are going against children that think they know history and some, some puppet master pulling the strings and these you know, less intelligent individuals go, okay, let's go destroy that. Hey, this person did all these good things, except for this one little thing they did bad and we don't like, so let's destroy it. Let's destroy history. We're anti-fascist, we're against fascism. But like I said before, they're the most fascist group. They're so hip so hypocritical, it's hilarious. Um, I'm talking about police officers here 150 police officers in Minneapolis have sought disability for PTSD after the uh, civil unrest following the jo uh, George Floyd's murder uh, so there's that and I hope they get the care that they need and I hope the their governing officials don't screw them over as they have been um, if not, if you're a police officer and you are getting screwed over for, uh, by your police department, come down to Texas, at least we have a backbone. So there's that. 
and then the Goya Foods, the CEO is the, has the largest Hispanic owned food label in the country, has supported Trump, drawing outrage from the thought leaders and calls to boycott Goya products. He refuses to apologize, saying the boycott is a reflection of division that exists today in our country that is killing our nation. The company will be donating tw uh, 2 million food products to American food banks. So, also, no one, no one threw a, uh, a rod when uh, Goya Foods donated to Obama. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So they're okay with that, but not that. It's, once again, the hypocrisy. Like, the left has been corrupted severely. I'm not saying the right is innocent and they're the, they're the goody two-shoes, but they're the lesser of evils. Demo the Democratic Party is severely corrupt and disgusting that they will be okay taking money from this guy and then they go oh you're giving money to that guy over there screw you I hate you I don't want anything to do with you but thanks for the money if you don't like that give the money back then why don't you boycott Goya Foods by giving the money he gave to Democratic parties you won't do that that's what I thought uh, let's see. Also, it says a recent survey from Conserv Conservative American Enterprise Association shows that 5% of the 24 million eligible G's, uh, Gen Z voters have great deal of confidence that President Trump is acting in the best interest of the public, and only 7% believe that the president is effectively handling the pandemic crisis. Only 14% of the 83 million eligible millennial voters approved of the president's handling of the pandemic. These numbers are starkly contrasted against the 73 million eligible baby boomer voters who, when compared to Gen Z, are five times more likely to believe the president is acting in America's best interest and four times more likely to approve of his handling of the pandemic. So, there's that. Um, now this is kind of touching on another video I made and I'll, I'll put it in the top right corner. Um, it says 150 liberal authors, journalists, professors, activists, and other intellectuals signed an open letter to the far left pleading that they cease actions that are weakening our norms of open debate and toleration of differences in favor of ideal, uh, ideolo ideological conformity. The letter of on justice and open debate included signatures from feminist journalist Gloria Steinem, author J.K. Rowling, feminist author Margaret Atwood, journalist Farid Zakira, and self-described libertarian socialist Nor uh, Noam Chomsky, among others. The letter states that the way we defend bad ideas is by exposure, argument, and persuasion not by trying to silence or wish them away, which is a good, it's good. I mean, that's, that's, that makes sense. Um, you can't just hide them under the rug or beat them down or destroy property to get rid of them. Those people will be silent, and but when it comes to voting, they will be loud. Just kind of like what happened with, uh, with uh, Trump and Clinton. Whole state of Clinton's gonna crush Trump, but all the silent voters, after getting their cars smashed in and beaten up on the street they stayed silent and then they waited till their time was when they went to the voting booths and guess what they won so maybe it is time to finally finally instead of beating the crap out of the opposition actually listen and have a an adult debate instead of whining and throwing fits and throwing glass bottles and hitting with bats and sticks and about time about time someone's going against the left and saying okay enough is enough during the French Revolution in the 1790s, the moderates known as the Girardins uh, opposed the more radical revolutionary subgroup known as the Mound, and they were chased into exile or beheaded as royalists. Also, I'm going to put in the, uh, the top there. Is, um, during the Mao Cultural Revolution in China, 
university students were forced out of work to rural areas collect uh, collect rural collective farms and those labeled as counter revolutionaries were subject to struggle sessions of public humiliation and torture as we've observed many times this year the far left uh, liberal dissent has intended to ref uh, effect the reducing opponents of the cultural revolution and a historian and conservative commentator Victor Davis Hansen recently commented that the success of the Black Lives Matter movement which is one part of the far left cultural revolution hinges on how successfully they terrify the masses into submission and how quickly they can do that before repulsion grows over their absurd violence and silly rhetoric. Hansen specifically points out level uh, record level gun sales registered Democrats openly carrying firearms to defend their properly property which means they're defending against the Democrats so there's some more Democrats waking up and seeing how ridiculous it is declining viewership of national sports broadcasts embracing wokeness and increasing realization of liberal intellectuals that they are in the crosshairs among the indicators of public sentiment growing against the cultural revolution Hansen concludes that the cultural revolution will end up collapsing as it always has not always as it mostly has there's a few so basically what they're saying is people are waking up and tired of the disgusting and grotesque behavior that the left has shown and the left has allowed they the left demands power and they know they're losing power and the only way to do it is to beat it into you physically not mentally not by words beating it into you but physically beating it into you how great question by antifa and black lives matter group they don't care how they get power as long as they get power and they don't care if it's the submission by the people as long as they get the power they that's they don't care and finally people are waking up finally people are going oh <laughs> whoops why do we want a communist party a socialist party running this country so either they're gonna vote libertarian or vote Republican Democrats got so greedy and so blinded by their greed that they lost all focus they lost their path They were willing to put us in submission to get power but they forgot we vote <laughs> we are allowed to vote and it's funny I saw I saw someone mention that a uh, that their black cat got a, uh, a a voter registration card in the mail vote Democrat Party it said a cat first off it's a cat Secondly, it's been dead for 12 years. He got a letter in the mail, pro-democratic letter, with a card saying vote. You go vote, little kitty cat. They're desperate that they're, com they're actually com doing voter fraud. They're doing voter fraud. It's right there. They've done the last election and they lost. They're going to do this election. They're willing to do anything to win and get the power. And that's what we should be afraid of. So I'm going to conclude this video. Is be smarter than our government. They're trying to put a veil over our eyes. That ain't going to work. No, sir. That ain't going to work. And we can't let it work. So... Be strong, be resilient, let's build this shield wall together. You have a great day.